On Monday, all eyes, as they say, will be on the solar eclipse, a spectacular sight, but one that can also pose a serious risk to your health. Even though the sun will be shaded, it will be dangerously bright. So if you have the right protection, you can safely enjoy the rare show. Dr. Malika Marshall has more on how to stay safe. I've never seen an eclipse before, but I've heard that it's a cool experience. Simon Archibald plans to watch Monday's solar eclipse with a bunch of friends in Boston, but he knows he's taking a risk. I've heard that you can go blind from it. Yep, you could indeed go blind, says Dr. Nicole Sopp, an optometrist at iSpot in Chestnut Hill. From the high energy solar radiation, it can cause the um, photoreceptors, which are cells within the retina, to become sick, resulting in tissue damage. Just take a look at the retinas of this patient three years after suffering sun damage. On the right you'll see a normal scan and you'll see that all the retinal um, tissue is even and over here you'll see that there is a loss of retinal tissue from damage from solar retinopathy. Which can cause black spots, blurriness and distorted vision. The damage can occur in just a matter of seconds, may not appear until days later and is often permanent. But never fear, all you need is a pair of these solar glasses. ISO certified 12312-2. They block out nearly all light. It's amazing. <laughs> like I see nothing except for the small spot of the sun. And if you see even a sliver of sun, those glasses must be on. When the moon is completely covering the sun um, during the moments of totality, which only lasts for at the most, I believe, two minutes, it is in theory safe to take off your solar glasses. Um, however, you want to make sure they're right back on as soon as any sun starts to show. I really want to see it, so I hope that some place will have um, the glasses we need. Yeah, that's where we run into trouble because unfortunately most places have sold out. I had to get mine from Eric Fisher. Thank you, Eric. iSpot in Chestnut Hill is getting another shipment by the end of the week and their proceeds will pay for free eye exams and eyeglasses for disadvantaged children in Nepal. And remember, really dark sunglasses are not good enough. Back to you. That is really good information to know. Dr. Malika Marshall, thanks so much. Notice we all rely on Eric Fisher to just give us everything. Yes, that's right. <laughs>